guys, I am Melanie Murphy and I'm here at London Fashion Week with Icon UK. I'm super excited to go and explore and see all the latest trends and the models. But first I want to show you how I'm doing my makeup for the event. This is the makeup look I'm wearing. It's a dark lip, nice copper eye and it's very on trend. So let's go do this. So I'm beginning this look by pumping some of the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Primer onto the back of my hand and then just taking some of that around my T-zone. And what I'm going to do is blend this out into my skin and it's going to give me a nice flawless base and a smooth canvas to go in with my foundation. So then for my foundation I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation and a lot of my subscribers know this is one of my favourites because it's really affordable and it has great coverage for acne and scarring. And as you can tell, my skin is very badly scarred from having cystic acne for years. So if you have any issues with that, definitely look into this foundation because once you buff it out using a stippling brush like this or even a damp cosmetic sponge or your fingers, it just builds up really well and gives you that coverage so you're not so conscious for the rest of the day about your skin. Next, I'm taking a touch of the Vichy Derma Blend Corrector Stick and I'm just applying this using a small little stipply concealer brush under my eyes and in any areas where there's redness left poking through the foundation. And this is just to give me the level of coverage that I feel most comfortable with and it balances out my complexion totally, gets rid of dark circles and any imperfections that I want to conceal. As I'm running around Fashion Week, I definitely need to set my makeup and for this I'm using the Liz Earl Natural Finish Pressed Powder and this is slightly darker than my natural skin tone but that allows me to skip the whole bronzer step and this powder really kept my makeup in place all day long. It didn't budge, I didn't get shiny or anything like that and if you have oily skin like me, make sure you always set your makeup, especially in the T-zone area. And then I need to liven my face up a little bit more, so I'm taking a touch of blush on a Real Techniques blush brush. This particular one is by Urban Decay and it's their Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Blush. And it does look like a crazy colour when you first open it up, but taking just a little, little bit, pop that onto the tops of your cheeks and up along the apple of your cheek. And then you can blend that out so it looks nice and subtle, gives that nice healthy glow that we're all after. Then it's on to eyebrows and I'm using the Benefit Instant Brow Pencil which is great because it has a little spoolie brush on the end which you can use to brush them through and feather them out a little bit to make them look nice and thick. So I'm using this pencil to shape them and I like to follow my natural brow shape and also just fill in any gaps that might be left over from over plucking as a teenager. I feel so much better when I have my brows on, they really frame your face. It makes such a difference to how your finished makeup is going to look when you work on your brows. So for the eye makeup, I'm keeping it nice and simple with a lovely subtle gold eye. You cannot go wrong with that. And I'm using the Body Shop Color Crush Eyeshadow in Melt My Heart, which is this really lovely gold shadow that's so blendable and so easy to use. Using a dense eyeshadow brush, I'm just popping that all over my eyelid and then I'm going to blend it out with a blending brush to make it nice and seamless. But then I'm going to deepen out the outer third of my eye using an eyeshadow called Interstellar from Topshop and I love that name. This kind of eyeshadow look works all year round and goes with almost every different eye shade, so definitely try it out. And always feel free to drag a little bit of your shadow onto your lower lash line as well because it just adds a little something something to your look. A little tip, a blending brush is your best friend so definitely invest in a good blending brush for eyeshadows because it will change your life. To finish off the eye look I'm using the Bourjois Volume 1 Second Mascara in Ultra Black and this one is really really simple to use and it makes your lashes really really long and thick and has that kind of clumped look that I like to slowly shimmy it through my lashes and then just kind of pack it on and build it up in a couple of layers. I mostly focus on my top lashes but I'll put a little into my bottom lashes because I just feel a bit naked when I don't. 
Finally, it's onto my lips, and I am using a crayon lipstick in the shade Tulip Red by a brand called Lord and & Berry, and it's absolutely stunning. It's a really interesting shade, and this stuff stayed on so long. Like, I only had to apply it about three times throughout the entire day, but the way I'm applying it, as you can see, is I'm using a nice, densely packed lip brush, and what I'm doing is kind of rubbing this into the product and then applying it to my lips. It just makes it a lot easier. It just gives you that kind of stain before you can then build the color up as deep as you like. And that's the look done. So I really hope you enjoyed this look guys. I am so ready now to go and enjoy Fashion Week. If you want to watch more videos from me, you can click right here and make sure you subscribe to Icon for more content. I'll see you in another video. Bye.